Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of Star Trek Adventures in, set in the Expanse. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a Lower Decks episode, uh, because the GM just wanted to have a bit of zany fun for once, and he really didn't have any really good ideas for plot. So, let's throw some support characters at a wall, see what sticks. Or stinks. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. I have nothing else to go on, so let's chat with, or let's hear the log, which I believe is going to be Spencer. Yep. Security log, stardate 84737.9. The, the Concordia has picked up the Alexity Ambassador and is currently en route to Deep Space 15 to drop both them and the Medell Ambassador off the station. On our way, we came across a Kasala transport ship that didn't have functioning engines or communications. Shame, given that I'm personally a fan of their technology. And helped out the crew who was facing malnourishment, radiation exposure, and all sorts of medical ailments. Several of the crew members are extremely xenophobic, which is great. So we have to deal with that, along with people who seem to be ungrateful for our help given that we're outsiders so uh it seems like the senior staff of the ship is going to have their hands full for a while which means you know as uh the old saying goes uh while the senior staff is away lower decks come out to play and log <laughs> yes uh so uh, there was a uh the uss concordia has run a Across a disabled uh, ship of Kasala refugees from before the Borg time, uh, just floating in space, living in a ship of hovels. So naturally, while the senior staff is busy doing a series of plots that has been done by Star Trek 50 times already, I figured we're going to have a look at some different stories. So naturally, with all lower decks stuff, it starts in the mess hall. As you guys are all either sitting together or sitting nearby one another with the <clears throat> under the watchful eye of the bartender Taravis, an old Vulcan who doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Uh, but nonetheless, he makes a very good drink. The bar is it's in the middle of uh, beta shift, which means the senior staff are busy pulling double duty, uh, trying to deal with the disabled ailing transport. Uh, most of the engineers are over on the transport ship trying to get their equipment up and running. And the captain and commander Hadrix have already had to defuse at least two hostage situations. Uh, uh, the science, science officer is trying to get their sensors up and running. And poor uh, Dr. Ferliza has his hands full try to deal with approximately 200 cases of malnutrition and other ailments caused by uh, extreme amounts of radiation exposure. So, that's all, that's all going on behind the scenes. You guys are down here having a drink. And as you are sipping your whatever drinks you have ordered, or in this case, uh, Bud, you're performing chemical analysis, you notice one thing. Um, the alcohol component is missing. Uh, the uh, gin and tonic is the tonic. The rum and coke is the coke. Uh, even the synthahol seems to have been watered down somewhat. You're not the only people to notice this, as Taravis is fending off a large crew group of rowdy crewmen demanding proper service. This is definitely an unusual situation. This is crap! What the hell? Hold on, I'm... I'll... I'll go ask him. And Gunther's just gonna get up from his chair and... You know, probably... I'm strong arm Gunther his way... <laughs> strong arm his way past some of the people. Hey, uh... Travis! What's up with the alcohol? The rum is gone. The wine is gone. The beer is gone. The spirits are gone. Everything is gone. I'm not entirely sure why. My warehouse of authentic alcohol spirits has been plundered as of late. 
something is breaking into Cargo Bay 3 and has taken off with all of the good quality spirits. I am attempting to make do with what I have, but Synthahol can only cure so many ailments. Uh, hey, uh... Cargo Bay 3, eh? Let's go! Oh, I ain't putting up with this track. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, uh, think think it's Bud. Uh, think you can. Uh, I don't know. Look at security footage while we're checking out Cargo Bay Three. But just floats around. <laughs> you know, I don't know how you exocoms work, so I'm just gonna take that silence as a yes, and he's just gonna start making his way to Cargo Bay Three. Hey, Krim, you might want to come with us. Somebody's probably gonna get hurt. <laughs> well, I know somebody is gonna get hurt if I don't get a proper drink here soon. If I take care of one more radiation burn without some alcohol in me, God's, you know, profits be willing. Then come with us so we can figure out who or what did this. Lead the way. And everybody is wandering out with uh, S with uh, Senior Chief Petty Officer Tegan sitting at an empty table with Bud orbiting his head. Wait, you're oh, saying we've, Bud uh, is uh, an Iyun stone? Oh, uh, hang on, we've lost Scotty. Uh... Scotty is gone, um, so Tegan realizes he's by himself, stands up, and follows. Because he doesn't have much else to do. And, and yeah, Scotty mentioned he's in an area with not good internet right now, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, Bud, are you taking long, or are you going to try to plug into ship systems and see what you can learn? Uh... He's I like just how sort he's of float floating. About. I love how he's floating too. That's cracking me up. <laughs> uh, sorry, what was uh, you got interrupted? What was that, Shizno? Oh, he's going to float about. Okay. He will float about as Bud does. Okay. What is going to happen is you leave the uh, bustling core or the bustling raucous bar just as soon as um, Bud threatens to call security or not Bud, uh, Taravis starts threatening to call security and you find yourself in Cargo Bay 3 and Cargo Bay 3 is a large large cargo bay filled with all sorts of I think something's happened that's resized everyone's token. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I don't like it. But, anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so you are all in Cargo Bay 3. You head over to the area marked Liquor. Uh, and, yeah, move past several uh, warning signs saying, uh, caution f to, if this is found unsecured outside of uh, this cargo bay or the bar, a.k.a. the and it's li literally scrolling in, uh, or scrolled in pen, in a felt marker, the ice cap. In the captain's hand, obvious, oddly enough. Seems <laughs> the captain has taken it to name the bar the ice cap and is accepting no other substitutions. Now, the bear, um, so finding this outside either Cargo Bay 3 or the bar is a Class 17 violation. And, it, and shall be reported to the nearest commanding officer. Now uh, you walk up and notice that all the barrels are still sealed. Yeah. I mean, should we... I guess I turn to Krim, because technically I guess in this mission they're the quote-unquote commanding <laughs> officer. Oh God, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all like crewmen and specialists, I think. Son no, of a... Bud's an ensign, but that still makes Grim commanding officer. So, 
Jesus. Hey, Christ. so why uh, have, why not have to be are we supposed to? Are we supposed to like crack these things open or? Well, if I know anything about alcohol, I don't think we want to necessarily crack these open too much. We should probably do some scans of them, and then maybe try to take a sample if we can get them open without destroying them. Sample it. Let's. Sex. Let's not, not sample. Not, not, not that. I meant, I meant scan. I meant scan. Sure, sure you did, buddy. Uh, okay, so if someone wants to take out their tricorder and give me a science scan or a medicine scan, either one will work. Uh, yeah, maybe I might scan, I, actually. <laughs> I have a grand total of a one, so no. <laughs> insight science or insight medicine. Oh, boy. All of that is hot garbage for me, so I'm not going to bother. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. I, I'm the commanding officer here. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this will be a difficulty of zero, because let's get some momentum on the board. That's ominous. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. This is fun already. So. Uh, <laughs> well, you get two successes, so that's two momentum. You I also like get history. two complications. Which is also fun. One, Zax falls into the falls into a barrel and his beard is covered in alcohol for the remainder of the game. Nah. I have a better idea. His beard catches fire from the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why we were alive covering it in alcohol. But it's used to being covered in alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so God. uh Lieutenant Krim, as you are scanning, you are able to de determine that Everything, or that the barrel, despite being sealed, is, or and despite being labeled uh, Bolian, ah, a Bolian fermented ale, uh, circa 20, uh, 2400, uh, it appears to be pure water. As in, hmm. there's no chemical trace of anything that would actually, you know, make it proper wine. Uh, Zach, your tricorder spits out a series of garbled ones, zeros, and fritzes. Uh, meaning that you will have to take some time to get a replacement tricorder. And meanwhile, everyone, uh, Lieutenant Krim, you're busy looking at this, at uh, your tricorder, and every you feel something on your head. Everyone else notices this thing just materialize on top of her head. What is... Th what is that? What, what is, is that? that? That looks like this. Uh, let's see. Show to everyone. Uh, oh, my. what is that? <laughs> oh, measuring approximately one foot long. It appears to be a mixture between a lemur and some sort of dog creature. It has a, a monkey lizard. <laughs> it has an elongated body, muscular, uh, long sinewy uh, forearms, and a tail that looks more like a palm tree frond than an actual tail. Uh, it literally materializes on top of Krim's head, uh, pulls out her hair slightly, and goes beer, 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 and then leaps to an upper rack and looks down at you. Oh, damn it. Sax, um, I think I found your kin. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it doesn't have a beard. I don't think it's close enough to be their kin. Eh, it like his style, though. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, hey, little guy, uh, got a name? Beer. Beer. Oh. Beer. I'm not naming it <laughs> okay, beer. beer. Well, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull out a flask. Oh, God. Come here, little fella. Come here. Roll me presence plus command, please. <laughs> and if you have anything related to alcoholism. Or, I, should. You know, I should. I think I need to take a new value. Now, no. keep in mind that this does count as an activation for all of you guys, so you can do what you want. Nice.
Okay, that's one success. That's what you need. So it leaps down, and as it begins to propel itself to you at, uh, towards your beer at speeds that seem physically rather impossible, it seems to elongate its body ever so slightly before making a popping sound and disappearing from reality in general. Okay. We got a nightcrawler. And Zach, there, uh, your flask shakes ever so slightly. And as you curiously drink it, it's now water. It then See, appears, I, it's not right. It then appears up here going, beer, beer, beer. <coughs> well, if this isn't the reverse of deep Jesus. <laughs> Chief Petty Officer, I was about to make that exact same joke. <laughs> Being okay, in the Indian Corps, you hear enough stories from humans that you pick up on things. Come yeah. on down, laddie. Come on. I got more where that came from. Beyond that flask, you do. Up yours, Void Runner. Come here. I, I, I didn't say anything. Nope, that was the, the lieutenant. So. <laughs> oh, I get it. Just because I'm the one expand species in the room. All right, whatever. That's racist. <laughs> Speciesist. And Avenue Q, everyone's a little bit racist. Now, let's, let's, let's stop singing. Twitch has just got um, all uh, DMCA happy with music once again, so... Uh, I'm in no danger. Anyways. <laughs> I mean, the musical is also danger. no longer on Broadway. Yeah, true. <laughs> that doesn't make a public domain, friend. That's not how it works. I know. Hey, so... You, you said your name. God, I'm just trying to communicate, but I have no clue. So, you said your name's Beer? Like, uh, but where are you from? Beer. Beer. Okay, there cannot be a planet called Beer. If there was, I'm taking a transfer. <laughs> Come here, laddie. Come on. <sighs> hey, bud, do you have a shock probe there? <sighs> Zap that little thing. Oh. Well, it attempts to leap onto Bud. Uh, oh, no. Misses rather hilariously. Uh, lands off balance like a... I attempt to grapple it. Okay. Roll, <laughs> roll, oh, me, a, roll me a dare. Uh, daring plus fit... Or no, daring <laughs> plus security, I believe. Go, go Bud. <laughs> I swear grapple. to God, if you crit grapple. success this, uh, I'm gonna give myself a talent. Okay. Mean right hook. <laughs> oh, <God. Yes. laughs> okay. Oh, that's hilarious! I love it. Uh, can I have a focus of uh, damage control procedures? Because I'm about to break this thing. <laughs> oh, God. oh, let's see what you do, buddy. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! Success. It's two successes. Uh, you managed to successfully, uh, I'm not sure how you grapple. Uh, how does Bud grapple? He has two little arms that protrude over his body. The little mechanical arms that, oh, uh, replicate the things. different... Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, if you look at his, if everyone's curious, you can look at his profile there, and that's literally what he is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, wouldn't, wouldn't you have that little part where you can, like, materialize anything, or, like, replicate anything right from the front as an outfit? Uh, I think that's a talent, and... Maybe he'll take that as a part of his advancements. Yeah. Gotcha. Instead, he just has a mean right hook as a hovering thing. Oh, my God. All right. I want to oh go over to God. the replicator and create a little cage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so Bud is currently grappling him. And now... Let's see if he does. And he does. Uh, Bud, you're... <laughs> You feel a small tug on both of your arm, your arm appendages, as this thing once again vanishes. What the hell? All right. 
it leaves a small puff of uh well it doesn't actually leave any puff it just sort of goes whoop or <laughs> not a whoop it goes hey science where there's I hate this thing already. <laughs> uh, can anybody scan to see if they, if we know where he went? Uh, I can try, I guess. Insight science, insight medical. Either of those will be worth. Oh, yeah. In, uh, this insight will be, medicine. Let's uh, difficulty, go. Uh, difficulty of three for insight medicine. Difficulty two for science. Damn. Damn. Oh. I'm shooting for a solid 10 on Insight Medicine, so... Hey, how about Insight Medicine with um, a focus of Xenobiology? Ooh, that would work well, yes. I I also have a focus that might work that I just gave him, which is Bioanalysis. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, yeah. that is good. I'll, I'll assist Krim. <laughs> oh, oh, holy yeah. cow! Uh, nice! Okay. The uh, profits so are on my side today. Uh, so, and not on Void Runners. Not on Void Runners. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so, uh, Miss Maru or Miss Krim, you're Bajoran, so it's Krim. Um, Do we get momentum? Uh, no, it was a difficulty three test for medicine. Ooh. Um, oh, that's right. You did that. What you're detecting is a uh, as it enters or as it pops, um, you're detecting a. What's the phrase I'm? Uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? In, uh, uh, you're detecting a, a flexing, uh, or you're detecting all of its muscles, uh, sort of flexing all simultaneously, which seems to be generating a slightly amplified electrical current through its body. Uh, it's as if a particular circuit was completing, and as the circuit completed it popped huh interesting <laughs> hey uh zach this is gonna sound like a weird uh thing of like reasoning coming from me uh Okay, quick, out of character. What's the opposite of it being a conductor in uh, resistance? In insulator? Insulator. Insulator, yes. thank you. <laughs> I was just planning my next week's lesson. Guess what we're studying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zach, uh, if you're going to make a cage, uh, can you make it out of a material that uh, it's like an insulator for electricity? Rubber. Rubber's I always mean, a good option. Yeah. I'll, I'm still going to head over to the thing and try to replicate some sort of cage and thing so we can capture this. Okay. Uh, make me a control plus engineering test. Difficulty one. If you have fabrication or uh, uh, and, uh, design schematics or structural engineering, something like that. I have replicators. <laughs> I mean, I also have power systems, so I would actually be slightly knowledgeable about the electrical. Well, what? oh yeah, three successes. Who's nice. Zach? Want this thing? Okay, uh, Mr. Zach, you have uh, created a cage of rubber. Of, I'm guessing something along the lines of rigid rubber. If transparent aluminum's a thing, so is rigid rubber. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Void Runner, uh, you can't help but notice that one of the um, or one of the other alcoholic crates is vibrating slightly. Oh, that think think that's where they went. Uh, quite possibly. Well, we might as well find out. And I will walk over to the one that is vibrating and pop it open. All right. Uh, daring security, please. Okay. This is an opposed test. So when my, 
my focus of hand-to-hand -hand combat come into play here? Yes, it would. Uh, you're the defender, so you need uh, two or more successes to win. I shall take a momentum for a third die. All right. Go for I... it. Kya. Well, that's oh, three nice. successes. Nice. So you get one momentum as a uh, flying something jumps out of the barrel, now replaced purely with water, and attempts to latch onto your face. Uh, however, you're oh. able to grapple it. Or whatever you want to do with it. Zach, Zach, you got the cage. Zach? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! I'm coming! <laughs> well, get over here faster, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then when, <laughs> whenever Zach makes his way over me, I'll just not so gently just sort of huck this thing into the cage and slam the top shut or whatever. However this cage is built. <laughs> I rather like that image. Hey, ah, boom. <laughs> Can you roll Just... me a fitness plus medicine test, please, Gunther? Oh, I'm not a fan of that, but okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Fitness medicine, okay, that's not terrible for me. <coughs> now, I don't have a focus here, so we're just going to... Roll the dice and see what happens. Okay, okay. there we go. Uh, two degrees of success. Cool. Oh, wait, no, fitness medicine. Yeah. Um, uh, so that is actually one success. One success. Instead of okay. two. Uh, so you don't take stress damage from this, thankfully. Uh, but you still scream. Uh, well, maybe grunt, because maybe you're trying to play the tough guy. I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> As the rest of you notice his hand, along with the creature, go intangible. Uh, the creature looks like it is straining itself as it seems to turn itself intangible along with Gunther's arm. Ow. And, uh, when, uh. and in doing so, manages to, or the momentum of which places him through the cage and the creature lets go. Uh, so Gunther, you now have an arm in a box. Well, actually, you, you have an <laughs> arm in a box still grabbing the creature. Uh, let's see if the creature manages to escape. Oh, wait, so like... <laughs> So, essentially, my arm has, like, phased through the cage yeah, and is, like, grabbing... Yeah. Romulan, oh, you God. Know the, you know the Romulan cloaking device? Or the yeah. Face? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, can I take use an engineering tricorder and so, see if I can... Be... Oh. oh, sorry. Would this be another uh, opposed during security? Yeah, uh, yes, please. Um, with... Okay. Uh, because of... You know how things are going. Because gets, my arm is uh, in a box. <laughs> he gets one extra degree of success. But still, you still that still needs uh, taking momentum for a third die because I want to keep a hold of this thing. <laughs> Plus, you probably want to keep a hold of your arm too. Just maybe. I, I'm going to. I am going to assist him with the fitness security check to try. To... <laughs> okay, three successes again. Yep, I've got it. Okay, yeah. Uh, despite the fact that your arm is. You know, just giving the, uh, you know, showing reality what for at the moment. You're not letting that phase you, pun intended. <laughs> um, can I do a take an engineering tricorder and take a scan and see if I can cut, catch the electrical energy to see if I can figure it out with my power systems focus? Um, you can try, sure. Uh, that'll be a difficulty too. Uh, okay. And, uh, actually, and reason engineering, please. And Scott, I believe we actually got a couple momentum from that opposed task. I believe so, yes. Because we got one from me and then one from Zach, so we're yep. up to three. I totally hit the wrong button. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. There we're at three. Um, I'm just doing a straight 2d20. Wow. All right. <laughs> Tegan's uh, useless tonight. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Tegan, you're engineering tricorder is saying um is spouting all sorts of gibberish indicating that it was during the last firmware upgrade it has failed and pl uh, please uh turn into your nearest uh, engineering uh, office or the nearest engineering officer or quartermaster for replacement 
Zax, your luck's wearing off <laughs> on me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think my luck's starting to wear out just a little bit. I guess rather than holding up the creature, he just sort of waves his arm. So you guys is now inside this box with his hand still gripped onto the creature. Bear, 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 bear. bear. Shut up. Can I like close it with his arm in there, or Zach? Look at the cage, because <laughs> like essentially, like my arm is like phased through the bars, yeah. right? Yep. Okay. So he's in there. It's just his arms attached to it. Okay. It's okay. Something along those lines. <clears throat> yeah. We need to think, figure out how this thing ticks, and we need to figure out how to counteract what it's doing. I think it so do we here. take this thing to med bay? Do we go to a science lab? What are we doing? I'd say a hey, science Grim, lab let's go to... I was going to say med bay. <laughs> we can do that. We have a nurse here. Biological. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, somebody... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> All right, I'm walking with him <laughs> and the cage as we're heading to the turbo lift. <laughs> this is going to be a hell of a thing to explain to the doc. Oh, this is already turning out better than I'd hoped. Uh. <laughs> as we're walking down the corridors, it's like, so, Krim, are you a Vulcan in the streets and a Klingon in the sheets? <laughs> I'm, I'm a sure, and I am neither one of those. Yes, she has a dry sense of humor. <laughs> Tagan physically face palms. Because he works with Zax and knows all the bad one-liners. Meanwhile, all the random crewmen are looking at you guys like, what the heck's going on? Oh, wait, it's the Concordia. This is probably normal. Yeah, I grew a cage on my I'm arm. Get over it. <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> You make your way to sick bay, where there's a lot of people, but at Whoa. The not actually present. Oh, you... uh, well, except Man, for Lee's is not even sick bay. No, they're they're all busy dealing with uh, the you know the aforementioned uh, refugee ship and all the people on it. Oh God, no, we're huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Roughly the right size now. Everyone has wandered in. Gunther has that on his arm, or by the theory of additive, anyways. <clears throat> I'd say we should get Gunther and the creature in the isolation bay. Probably a good idea. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Mr. Void Runner, as you are yes. getting into the uh, part. As you're entering the part of uh, Sick Bay and making your way into the, uh, what's the phrase I'm, uh, the uh, isolation area, uh, you pass by these locked area where the doctor keeps all of his uh, uh, far pharmacy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's my roll twenty froze. I might have to give me a second here. <coughs> there we go. Ah, good. Uh, it cries out with a call of beer, uh, and once it and uh, actually manages to disengage from your hand and make Excuse his way over to you. <laughs> make his way over to the pharmacology. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. I'm. I'm punch going it. to. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, daring plus melee, because uh, he's already done his phasing thing. So, I I shall assist. <laughs> okay. With your hand in the cage. And well, I'll just use my other hand. I'm not rolling all that well tonight. Uh, uh, only fifty percent. Go, bud. Left left hook him. Uh, I'm going to take a momentum. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. This is a scene change, so you do lose one. Oh, Ooh, boy. I punch Roid Runner instead. 
so so that's not gonna ma- my assist isn't gonna matter nope. so i'm not even gonna roll <laughs> yeah uh, uh so bud the spud you do a good uh ra- you think you have the trajectories figured out quite probably uh something inverts your y-axis at the most inopportune time and you end up with a face full of zach's beard <laughs> i light it on fire yep that's where we were going with that <laughs> and of course i dropped the cage <laughs> uh meanwhile the one that's you know a- attached to my arm uh meanwhile it's fine. uh you can see that the uh creature is now in the pharmacy has uh by has entered the pharmacology area and all of the liquid uh medicines are turning into shit, water shit 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 <laughs> computer <laughs> computer activate all medical force fields acknowledging enabling quarantine we're in here now what <clears throat> The doctor is going to kill me. I computer, mean, computer fire prevention systems. Oh jeez, no, no, no. Roll me, uh, roll me a command plus. No, sorry, roll me a presence plus engineering test. Yes, let's do that. Difficulty of one. I say they have high power systems, uh-huh. but... <clears throat> ah, okay, so that is two degrees of success, so one momentum. And um, the dry powdered, or the dry powder that counts as the um, fire suppression system goes off, dousing everyone in a thick coat of winter-like su- uh, snow substance. Uh, but at the, s- at the same time, uh, you notice the creature in uh, the pharmacology area is also caked in the stuff and seems to be rather perturbed. It seems to try to be shaking it off its coat and uh, with not a lot of success. All right. Now, am I, I guess am I able to reach it? I don't know how the medical force fields work in here, but. Uh, um, I would assume that right now, Lieutenant Krim is the person who has access to the med- med- eh, the medical force field systems. Okay. Yeah, I would mostly think that a medical quarantine would just isolate the isolation bay, the doors to sick bay, and then maybe the office area. So, I mean, yeah. the other areas I'd say is still accessible. Yeah. And because you're a nurse, you're, you have security clearance to access the pharmacology area, but most other people do not. God, it's just like real life work. I know, right? <laughs> I came here to get away from work. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, let me see that box. Let's see if we can. I can try to put it back in the box. Yeah, I uh, think we get you know my arm out of it first. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so currently, uh, one of Void Runner's arms is uh, you know merged with the bars of a cage. So you might want to do something about that first. I would suggest using the transporter, perhaps. Yeah. Tegan's just going to walk do. over to the the uh, console and work his transport magic. <laughs> Control plus engineering. And if someone wants to pick up the ship, this will be a sensors engineering. Difficulty three. If you kill me, Tegan, I swear. Come on. Oh, no complications. Oh, He's not bad. Uh, I didn't complicate, but I only got one success as me. Ship yep. needs to crit. Who's got the ship? Someone grab the ship yet? I'll grab the ship. What do I need to roll for the ship? Uh, sensors engineering. Yeah, so that ain't d- happening. Yeah, uh, due to the uh, med- due to the uh, quarantine, <laughs> belt, uh, the ship is or the ship's security process, ah, the ship's security protocols uh, come into effect. In which case, no matter may be 
transported to or from sickbay. Computer, just... enact the security protocol the medical force field around the pharmacology area and deactivate all others. Uh, uh, Romy command, or not command medical, that's silly. Um, Gertie? Presence medicine? Uh, yes. Control, control command? <laughs> uh, roll presence command. The ship will assist with computers plus medical. Uh, difficulty one. You got it. Nice. And that's one success, as all other force fields drop, uh, and with the exception of the one around pharmacology. Oh, wait, somebody want to, else want to pick up the ship to roll that again for the, for the <laughs> assistant? If I could speak English words what? tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm not rolling uh, a lot, otherwise I, can, I would. I can grab the ship. You said it was uh, computer's medicine for the ship? Yep, computer's medicine. All right. Computers. And... Just because I don't want to be rolling for the ship when I just did my own roll. Oof. Eh, that's still one success. Still works. Yep. So the forest fields all over sick bay, with the exception of pharmacology drop. Tegan, let's try to do that transport again. Uh, Bud do, or Zax, do you want me to try to do something about Bud in your beard? <laughs> no, out of character. Hey, hey, Zax, you got a little Bud in your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, oh. I usually just have alcohol. <laughs> Not that <laughs> beer, beer, <laughs> beer. Uh, it's uh, the creature begins to throw itself against the force field, and you notice that uh, as it impacts on the force field, parts of the uh, dry, or parts of the uh, extinguishing material begin to um, sizzle away, leaving just the fur and flesh beneath. And as it continues to do, uh, you notice that the parts that are exposed to the oxygen begin to phase out, or at least it's trying to, but because it's still encased in, you know, stuff, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Think but my cage is still on Void Runner, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right. So, Doc, uh, can you cut her off? <laughs> I want to work on the transporters. All right. All right. Let's see that roll again. Uh, control engineering, sensors engineering, please. Taking a uh, momentum for a third die. That's much better. That's the three successes you need. <clears throat> nice. Uh, there is a, yeah, you know that feeling where you're are fall asleep on your leg and it begins to wake up and it's all tingly? More often than not. Uh, yeah, uh, so Void Runner, that's how your arm feels right now, but at least there's no cage. Uh, the cage materializes safely and intact on the surgical bed. With Bud still on me, I'll grab the cage and take it out and take it, go get the creature. <laughs> All right, and you position yourself on the other side of the force field where the creature is attemp attempting to mimic the energy state of a gas particle and is beginning to bounce all around the pharmacology area like a pinball all the while yelling every time he hits the wall he says all right i am going to make a fitness security and try to grab it in there okay uh, Bud, do you wish to assist? I'm going to punch it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so each of you is going to attempt something slightly different. So each of you make a daring um, security test, please. And whichever one of you rolls higher gets to get it first. Right, that's two successes from Bud. What does Zach do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, um, so you know those funny scenes where there's <laughs> a... Well, at least, 
<laughs> At least it wasn't red and I got like caught butt in the cage. Yeah, that would have been <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Uh, so there is, you know those uh, scenes where someone's making a uh, slow motion dive only for someone else to land on their head and just keep going? You know, that's that's pretty much pretty much what happens here. But you take a, uh, you try to lunge at the guy only for your body, only for Bud to physically use your body as a springboard and pushes you back. So you land flat on your stomach and Bud, you jump forward with and... Strike it for two damage. Three. Mean right hook. Ah, right. Mean right <sighs> hook. Three, three stress. There is a sp small uh, crack as uh, you deal deal in a bit of damage. And it... Mm. It lands on... Ah, it lands uh, supine on the ground. And let's see. Nope, that's a complication. Uh, it attempts to uh, get up and start running, but it, you, it seems, Bud, you have broken one of its legs. Oh, good job, Bud. Bud chases after it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Bud. Bud, no it, kill, no it, kill. It scampers over, or it scampers over top of Zax's uh, prone form, uh, with Bud hov with Bud in uh, near pursuit. <laughs> Yeah. Gunther is going to attempt to run forward and just grab this thing by the scruff of the neck or an equivalent of such. Daring, uh, daring security, please. Of course. <laughs> uh, I'll just go with the straight two dice this time. That's two successes. What does nice. it do? <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, you, uh, it seems to have misjudged one of its things as it runs, or it attempts to phase through one of the consoles, only to realize that it still has too much of the crap on it to phase. It runs headlong. And could you please roll me two <laughs> challenge dice, Void Runner? Oh, okay. See what happens. And it, there is a uh, loud thunk followed by another crack uh, as it damages itself further. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm shoving this thing in the cage. <laughs> okay. Uh, you shove it in the cage. Stop. Bear. Stop. Bear. Shut up. Bear. It attempts to nip at your uh, finger, but you pull it away. I pull out a phaser. No. Oh, no. no. Let's get it in the isolation bay and let's seal it up so we can scan it and discern what's going on. All right. Let's take it to science now. It's locked up. Somebody can help me up and get this droid off my beard. <laughs> You know that scene in uh, Ragnarok where Thor's about to get his hair cut? Yeah. That's what I imagine my arms turn into as I cut the beard off of me so I can get free. Whirling <laughs> uh, uh, blades. The... Uh, <laughs> Zach, you're going to need some follicle regeneration after this. Uh, your it's a very is... smooth yeah. shave. But on the plus side, it's not on fire anymore. So, you know, you got that going for you. <laughs> All right, all right, science, let's go. Uh, uh, once you reach the science lab, oh, Doc, grab a. Uh, these people can still be. Stimulator. It's fun if they were. Uh, you wander into the science lab, and there are uh, three individuals sort of talking amongst themselves in the back corner. Uh, they. They seem to be trying to figure out ways to basically retrograde uh, some equip or downgrade some of the spare sensor nodes uh, from Concordia's uh, stock uh, to convert them, to make them compatible with the uh, refugee ship. So it can be on its way and head back home, finally be reunited with its people in a safe fashion. 
instead of just you know trying to push the warp button and pray that they don't hit anything larger than a small asteroid. Anyways, they're doing that when all of you guys barge in. With this sup time. nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind them. Um, we all need we need a little help. We've got a little creature that seems to be wanting to change all the alcohol in the cargo bay. Beer. Beer. And the beer. Uh. And just to note that my other character is not in command of those three. <laughs> I am not going to talk to myself. Not uh, yet, at least. Uh, uh, Bud and Void Runner place the cage on the scanner. And who wants to run the science scan or the medical scan of this thing? Void Runner sees Bud put his phaser onto maximum stun, and he just hasn't aimed at the creature. Bud? <laughs> no. Chill, robot. <laughs> I still, I still. He is an exocomp. He can think for himself. <laughs> yes, he doesn't want to kill. <laughs> I think technically he's an android. I don't know the species. The uh, species classification board has a very difficult time with that sentient life or sentient artificial life. I think Krim will definitely still want to medically scan it to see if we can find any mechanism to its operation. Sure. Uh, roll me a um, insight plus medicine and the station can assist with computers plus medicine uh, computers plus medicine this is going yeah. to be a difficulty of two I and can I'm grab still, the ship and I'm thinking still using my xenobiology focus sure oh you, you said was it computers or sensors plus medicine um, sensors medicine sensors medicine yeah, okay. I'm sorry I I think I said computers too. Oh yeah, that was a difficulty too. And you Ooh. guys got five, so <laughs> shit, yeah, crit, three. shit, crit. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, three momenta. Nice. It's all right, little fella. We we'll take care of you. Uh, so there, there's a weirdness about this creature. Well, obviously, um, but what seems to be most interesting or peculiar is that your sensors are reading uh, two. Uh, one directly over... or One is overlaid directly on top of the other. Um, but the sensors... Or the sensors are very different. Or the, the readings are very different. Uh, one appears to be out of phase with uh, reality. You guys remember that episode where Jordy and Ro... Yeah. Became... Uh, oh, know, yeah phased out of phased something yeah. totally, somewhere yeah. here and it appears are you that... saying it's like a parasitic organism i don't know about parasitic but yeah it could be i mean it just it seems to be part of it symbiosis beer So, uh, looking at the scans of Crimduck, uh, so are we supposed to, like, try and fix this thing somehow, or? Well, he, the little feller's hurt. <laughs> I mean, that's a little obvious, looking over to Bud. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can try to, um... Find if we can see if we can see this other creature and then try to separate the two. Unless they're supposed to be together. And that's the that's the question there. Beer. It begins to gnaw at um, more of its um, covered up areas. It's obviously not liking the taste of what of the uh, ex, the extinguishing fluid, but it's trying to get it off anyways. Computer, replicate Klingon stout. 
<laughs> the replicator chimes. Voice recognition. Zack. Acknowledged. Zack's constitution is capable of handling such liquid. Request authorized. Thank you, computer. You are welcome, Here you Zach. go. Here you go, little feller. Drink this up. It'll put some hair on your bones. <laughs> so, as... Hair it, on your... What? <laughs> <laughs> as it's a uh, snout dips it dips into the Klingon stout. There's a small sizzling as the uh, highly acidic nature of the Klingon brew um, uh, interacts with it. And as its tongue extends into it, um, you, uh, you, while the scan is still ongoing, uh, you notice that it is leaching all the non-hydrogen oxygen molecules out at an insane rate. And it appears to be shut up. Uh, the what is very interesting is that this it's the da, 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 the minerals are not entering this creature's digestion tract, at least not in this universe or dimension, I guess. It removes its snout, uh, leaving you with completely 100% distilled water. Beer, 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 beer. And it bounces up and down. Okay, well, it seemed to like that. Nope. I it's, mean... Uh, once again, it attempts to phase, but there's still too much stuff on it, so it continues to try to scrape it, try to get it off. Well, let's see if we can surround this and... Um... Let's see if we can figure out why, if we can pull, you know, if we can bring out whatever's on phase visible. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That sounds like something to do with the transporters. As Tegan stands up from a chair. <laughs> Tegan, I don't think we have to go that hard. All we have to do is, um, and she goes over to a console and looks up something real quick. I think we just need to let off some anion particles in the area of the creature. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a uh, control plus science, and the ship will assist with... Uh, it doesn't sound like a sensors test. Our computer. Um, let's do structure plus science. First time Ooh. for everything. I'll grab a ship for this. So structure science. Interesting. Okay, I gave my medical personnel nothing in science. You have you activated her yet? Well, I am now. <laughs> Turns out those night courses with uh, Starfleet science officers are paying off. Well, that's the two well, luckily... Yeah. Well, that and she has an 11 control, too, so that doesn't hurt either. Nope. Okay, uh, so that's the two successes you need. Uh, a series of anion particles begin to flood the science room. Um, the creature begins to yelp in pain. Uh, it begins to undergo what looks like a television with a, the horizontal control um, misaligned as it begins to look like it's starting to bite at itself. Uh, there's some yowling and some screeching. And all of a sudden, now there's two of them. Oh, I stunned okay. the second one. All right, control security. And because you've been oh, aiming, I will grant you an advantage, so you already have one success. That's two. The two successes you need. Uh, roll me some challenge dice, please. <laughs> wow. Uh, before any of you can think to do otherwise, a minor or, uh, orange beam emanates from Bud's built in phaser and strikes the newly materialized creature. 
uh, knocking it unconscious. <laughs> the uh, existing creature rattles in its cage. Shouts, Pierre! And I'm Computer! going to take a point of threat to roll an extra dice. Oh, finally! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Uh, is able to finally get enough crap off of it to phase through and lunge at Bud. Ho, 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 ho. It has made a mistake. <laughs> Maybe it has. <laughs> uh, Bud, you need to uh, one. You're defending, so uh, yeah, one one degree of success or more, I believe. Uh, daring uh, plus melee. Or I'm, take, I'm, I'm taking a momentum for an extra dice. Sure. Yeah. Does go through? There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, your uh, uh, your tactical programming ha anticipated this, you know, basic ass maneuver coming from an un a non sentient creature, and so you're already prepared. Uh, so I believe that means you take control, which means you get to make an unarmed attack against it. Yeah, this is pretty challenged, I I believe. <clears throat> uh, that's oh, oh. four points of damage. He holds the yeah. tail with one uh, one <laughs> one grabber and punches it with the other. <laughs> I like to imagine like, like one little hand looks like the little phaser, and then the other one retracts it just as it's lunging, tracks in for a split second, and pops back out and has a mace on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those uh, Looney Tune things where someone removes a hat and there's a punching love just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. And this is your fabricator engineer, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got to be tough with some of the stuff you work with, so, you know. Yeah. Like sacks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Com so, that... Computer! Is... Cardassian Canar. Two bowls. Uh, yeah. So, bad news for that, because that mixed with the previous stress that it's taken is actually enough to kill it. Uh, there is a sickening crack uh, as all forward momentum stops. Gravity takes over and it slumps to the ground. Uh, Lieutenant Make Crim, it one ball. A uh, quick scan indicates no pulse. Um, I just look at Bud and I'm like uh, how? Like, she's amazed. She just, just really doesn't understand the concept of Bud. Uh, Can Bud please hold up his hands and just go... <coughs> <laughs> now, I will be, a, you know, I will be a kind GM. If you can do a Daring Plus Medicine difficulty 3, you can, you know, prevent it from dying. Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Weird, weird thing. Uh, Gunther would like to assist because he has, he has combat medicine as a focus. Okay. Okay. Uh, so exobiology, um, veterinary medicine, stuff like that. Uh, daring plus medicine from both of you. Yeah. Are we, are we still saying the xenobiology is a focus? Oh, yeah, xeno, not exobiology. I got no problem. The exocomp and, and just in case, I'm going to take a die for or uh, a momentum for a third die. Okay. I will say something to Zax. Zax, when the ship was being set up and everything like that, there it had a little rodent problem. Nice. Bud was responsible for getting rid of them all. <laughs> you don't want to know hey. what Bud did with the corpses. Some say that he, oh. that somewhere on the ship there is a room filled with uh, vol skulls. Uh. Some also say that that's where also... Bud sleeps. <laughs> so the one that's on the scanner is unconscious. Uh, the one that's on the scanner is stunned. The one that's underneath Bud is now stabilized. Uh, okay. It's in very poor shape. You should probably get it back to sick bay, but it's not immediately dead. I'm going to set the two bowls of Cardassian uh, Canar on the table and see if it kind of wakes up at all from the, or smells it or does anything. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that would help if I was right. 
not yet, but its uh, tongue seems to come out uh, subconsciously and <laughs> prehensily makes its way towards the bowl. <laughs> Love so it. This is if you're a um, snake charmer. Or like me with a bowl of candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put the bowl in the cage and put the one that's kind of unconscious or just stunned in the cage and make sure he's good and safe. Uh, uh, she. All right, she, she. She'll be a widow soon enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> good Lord. Just, everyone, including Toki, is just watching. What the hell's going on? <laughs> uh. Alarak and, Tro and Togi have their tricorders out, but are more interested in talking to themselves than you guys, because, quite frankly, y'all seem nuts. <laughs> Plus, they've no, heard they're stories just about the, blood. They've heard they're stories. just the nerds. They're just going to talk with each other. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, scoop up the other one. Let's take it to sick bay and see if we can get it going. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, so, a quick jaunt down to sick bay and, uh, at this point, uh, Dr. Quiff... Uh, no, actually, let's say that uh, as everything is beginning to wrap up on the uh, ship, also, the fact that the that his sick bay entered a uh, quarantine procedure, uh, Dr. Ferliza has returned to sick bay and is wondering, WTF is going on? So all, um... of, you, all of you guys wander in to see uh, Dr. Ferliza, whose token I deleted instead of just made hidden, because <laughs> I am a good GM. Yeah. Uh, miss, uh, Mr. Ferliza, you're standing goggle-eyed at what the hell happened to your pharmacology area. Also, why your sick bay is covered in fire suppressant. And then the door swings or hisses open, and an odd troop of crewmen and thing come into your sick bay. Okay. Um, couple of questions. Uh, Krim, what the hell happened to the pharmacology department? And what is that? Uh, first, uh, first things, second things first. Um, this thing is, and its partner has caused a little stir in one of the cargo bays when it comes to the alcohol. And the pharmacology department. We'll discuss that one later, if it's okay, doctor. No, I kind of like to figure out why half of the things in the pharmacology department are water. Thank you. Well, if you want to help me study this thing and figure out how it works, then I will be more than happy to tell you why it's water. Half the things in there are water. For Lisa just glares at Krim. All right, set them down. Yes, doctor. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's yes, basically for Lisa's reaction. <laughs> oh, memeing in a chat. Hilarious. Uh. In what is probably the uh, second weirdest thing that the uh, has gone under your sick bay, uh, t uh, your your sick bay sensors, the first weirdest is probably being some child's teddy bear that they brought down because they thought it was sick. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That, no, that not for Lisa wouldn't think that was weird. He would just think that was cute. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Aw. That would be kind of adorable, though. Yeah, yeah, it would be adorable. I'll be like, aw. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if they're okay. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll start running scans on these things. Uh, let's see. That's the female one. This is the male one. <clears throat> yeah, so... Not entirely sure what's going on with these creatures uh it seems to be that uh their it seems that their organs are able to generate a um uh, uh it's uh chroniton 
Is that it? Something like that. Some, yeah, when all the some sciencey Star, Star Trek, Trek thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a bit of chroniton radiation allowing them to uh, phase in and out of reality. Uh, problem hmm. is, is that by your by what you think has happened, these two suffered a bit of a problem when one of them attempted to phase out of reality when one was already out of reality or maybe that's how they be maybe that's part of their mating process you have no real idea but that's your best guess hmm so um one of these things must have tried to phase out out, I'm assuming, while the other still was, so that caused... <laughs> For Lisa, just sort of like, you know, in their crosses, their fingers, made, made this happen, if that makes any sense. Kind of like a chi one of those Chinese finger traps? Um, not necessarily the best comparison, but an acceptable one. Um, not exactly sure where the, uh, water thing comes from, but, um, I guess we can try and run more extensive scans and see about that. Yeah, somehow they're either chemically or some way changing the, any kind of alcoholic substance to straight water, almost like it's taking out the chemicals and whatnot. All right. Um, Bashir to for Lisa. Bashir to for Lisa. Yes, Captain. I need you uh, immediately to the conference room. We're having another incident. Oh no, no, the the mission's <laughs> over. Uh, this is the mission debrief. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well. Um. I should run some quick scans on them, see if their biology will help reveal anything. All right. Uh, daring plus medicine, since now you're on the clock. Or under pressure. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I, always forget uh, I am making Krim assist me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, of course, want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is going to be a daring plus medicine. Um, because you're in sick bay, you get an advantage. Um, unless you have any better ideas, I'll just lower the difficulty by one. Um, <clears throat> was was there any uh, increased difficulty because I'm unfamiliar with these things, yep. biology? I was about to get to that. Um, because of that, there was going to be a difficulty of three, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. Because of, you're in sick bay, it makes life a bit easier. And because you are, you know, xenobiology you, I mean, thing. So And quick study, baby. Difficulty one. All right, yeah, easy peasy. Uh, so daring medicine. I don't need no. I don't need no extra dice. No, that's uh, two more momentum for you guys. Uh, well, they're. Uh, yeah, it seems that they're. Bi it seems that their biology. Uh, does not actually need water. Uh, to keep hmm. itself going, but to make up for it, it processes almost every other type of uh, nutrient very quickly. Uh, it's, it's they would drink any they they'll drink stuff like they're you know dying of thirst really. Uh, their metabolisms are so bloody fast, and they are so bloody energetic that they require a significant amount of not non-water based foodstuffs but water is a considering that humanoids require water well, well humanoids like to dissolve a lot of things in water for different effects so that's a very efficient way for them to get what they need it's okay oh. Nazi. you're gonna be all right no. okay <laughs> their metabolism's fast they don't need water that's why everything they touch turns in the water. Bye. And I'm going to go back to the debrief. Ah, yes. <laughs> yep. And so we're going to have a brief intermission where 
And you guys feel free to spitball because this is just entirely improv. Uh, the USS Concordia has finished up its mission with the uh, uh, with the Kasala, and you are the captain. You've ordered the ship to pull away and are just running a quick debrief. Before well, it was a great idea, Hendrix, that we use some of that whale meat to help support them for a while. <laughs> Well, considering they gave us so much from that hunt, I mean, that we really impressed them over that. So, hey, you know, it tastes like chicken. I wouldn't necessarily agree, but it wasn't bad. Speak for yourself. Not like chicken. <laughs> it's okay hey. to be incorrect, Ensign. Hey, you haven't tried chicken until you've tried the tikka masala that I've made before. It's pretty good. Take True. You up on that. Cisco's in New Orleans is also pretty good. Ugh, that Creole. Come on, please. Well, he's, he's I a think little we snooty. Need, I think we need to do breakfast again. I think the little setup Reinhardt had was pretty excellent. Oh, I totally agree with that. It was, yes. <laughs> now the well, we is... got him on the way, and so now we're heading towards. Deep Space 15 to take the ambassadors back for their conference. Any updates on Mud? Is he, quote unquote, back to normal? Um, yes. As far as I'm aware, yes, he should be uh, appointed back to active duty starting in starting at a gamma shift, actually. Excellent. Good. Well, does anyone want to join me down in the uh, ice cap for? And Dorian Ale? Yeah, I'm never, I'm never going to say no to a good drink. <laughs> I'll just simply take a rise in Sunrise, but I will join you for that drink. Have you had the Cardassian Sunrise? <laughs> I don't believe I have, but I'll stick with the rise in variety. Excellent. Anyone have any other official business? Yeah, I think we need to officially just relax for a little while till we get to DS-15. I think that's a good idea. I hear there's some festive festivities coming up. Maybe we'll take a sh little short leave. Oh, uh, maybe. Um, you mean we get a chance to have a break around here? Now, now, Ensign. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'll be left in charge of the ship. Hmm. I do believe there's a place somewhere on the... Uh, Stations Boulevard that's serving some of Riker's famous pizza now. We might have to get more of that. I think I can call in it. If you want that, I think I can call in the source. <laughs> what does he deliver? I, he delivery. did before. <laughs> yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> Federation News Service reports. Um, Deep Space Explorer calls <laughs> Admiral for pizza. <laughs> it's good to be captain. <laughs> All right, folks, if there's nothing else. Sorry, was that someone trying? Was that you, Moose, trying to speak up? Nope. Nope, sorry, my bad. I misheard voices. Again, they're always in my head. Anyways, oh. It's when they're out of your head that you should worry. Yeah. So, as all that breaks, we find our, you know, the people who, you know, actually did all the work today back in the mess hall. Bud, are you able to sit still or no? He just floats away. <laughs> I'll right. take that as a no over there. Taravis looks up as you all make your way back. He... Special Zach, I can't help but notice your lack of a beard. I don't not supp Is it likely that you have traded that beard for a poten for an increase in spirits? Is the whiskey flowing? I do not know what you mean. There's very little left. 
We're, we're... Solved your problem. Oh, that that is gr that is most pleasant to hear. I am. Once we are able to refuel and and reacquire stocks at Deep Space 15, I will be able to once again serve drinks such as my lot in life here. The synthethal is the replicator working? And the replicator has always worked. Hey, give me the strongest thing you can conjure up. Of course. Yeah, make it four. <laughs> I'll put it on my get cred. Yeah. You guys find a seat near there, and all of a sudden the doors open. Uh, talking stops briefly as the senior staff walk in. Ah, that's peculiar. Um, <clears throat> uh, for Lisa, <coughs> why are tokens not showing up? Oh, oh, there they are, all at once. Sheesh. Oh yeah, once. Okay. There's two of Hadrix. Oh no. Uh, he's cloned. Yes. Just what we need. Yeah. I'm gonna have to reset. Either resize the tokens for this set piece or resize the set piece. Not sure which. But. Travis, I would like some of my private stock if I could. <laughs> for me and the senior staff. Captain, I'm afraid that I have some very bad news. Go on. I stunned Travis to get him out of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just kidding, I'm just kidding. Captain, while, while you were busy performing duties uh, to the best of your abilities as a Starfleet officer, I and several others have been wrestling with a creature of unknown origin that has drained the content from most of our alcoholic beverages. I regret to inform you that your personal stash was among those affected. The Andorian ale in the stockroom is gone? Yes, Captain. That's unfortunate. Yes. Yes, Captain. Uh, he offers you a sealed bottle of Andorian whiskey, but it's one of the uh, ones that have been drained. Hmm. Well, there's only one cure for this. Hendrix, activate yes. Disco Ball Protocol and Karaoke. And... Oh, <laughs> yes, Captain. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah? On that note, that's where we're <laughs> Or, like, face plant. Uh, yeah. Uh, as Dancing Queen begins to uh, play over <laughs> the uh, loudspeakers, uh, mm -hmm. you can't help but notice Taravis slink away into the his soundproof storeroom and bud begins to bob in time with the music and we are going to call it a session <laughs> so uh so i'm glad y'all had i hope y'all had fun i know that yeah, absolutely I am, definitely i definitely needed a little bit of a lighter adventure because well next weekend or next friday is going to be hallows halloween eve and with both Concordia and the station present in this episode, I can foresee all sorts of interesting and possibly spooky shenanigans carrying on. So, uh, thanks to my players for playing. Uh, thanks to my, uh, thanks to those of you who watch for watching. And I will get, see you guys next week. Bye bye. Bye bye.